Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCosta, and today we're going to discuss um, Find That Lead. Now, I've done a video on this before, but Find That Lead now has a new interface and a whole bunch of new features. So just as a quick reminder, Find That Lead is that um, Chrome extension sits right here. You push it, you put in first name, last name, and the domain, and it goes out and finds contact info for you. But now they have a new interface. This is the new interface. Now some of this looks familiar, but what's really cool about this is they now have an import CSV feature, which in a long way of saying is this. You have a CSV, you have the first name in the column, last name in the column, and their company they work for indoor domain. You stick it in here and it will automatically update and then find you the contact information, find you their email address, and it's free. And so that's one of the functions that's really, really, really cool. We're going to look at a few of the other new functions it has. Uh, we're going to go into the lead search. Now this is, again, guessing email, first name, last name, and domain, just like the extension. Here, it'll allow you to test the email and get social information on somebody. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of my email addresses that I have, and we're going to find that lead. And as you can see, it found the valid email except all's false. Uh, in, in other words, I have other emails. And this is the email, which is great. And as you can see, Connect 6 will work here, so you can find out more information about me there. But what's really cool is, look at this. All these social profiles that it found associated with my email. So now you have other places to go to look for info for me, which I think is really cool. The other thing I think is interesting, of course, you can highlight it, cut and paste, but you've got Vibe, another tool that we've talked about at length that can sit here and provide you information. We're going to disable Connect 6 real quick so that you can see what Vibe finds, just so you understand how all these tools can work together. You do Vibe and look at what Vibe does. Again, validates me, validates it's the right me, and all this stuff. So what you've got is a, a tool that can do this, find you all this kind of info, a bit of an aggregator, and that can work with Connexix and with Vibe to help validate and bring in even more info. That said, now you have search people capability where you can put in the sector. In this case, we're going to put in software, and it's right there, and we're going to put in Seattle Washington. Now, this is based on the people that you've put into the system, so it allows you to search predominantly your own people, but, again, it gives you the emails. Then it has the who is lookup. For those of you that don't know what that is, if you can find somebody's personal uh, website, you can stick it in there, and it'll go out and try to find the information behind the website, uh, who they went through to have it, um, address. A lot of times, unless they pay to opt out, you'll get a phone number and email just for that person. So it's a great way of finding extra contact information. Long story short, this uh, tool, which was just meant to find email addresses, has just gotten better and gives you a whole lot more information and a really cool little uh, interface. And of course, a dashboard which allows you to keep up on everything you're seeing and it keeps track of all the stats of how many you have left and all that because there is a free version then there's a paid version and with the free version you get all of this so uh, pretty cool tool and of course you can export all this info to a CSV so that's cool so then you can upload it into your own CRM or ATS so all in all uh, some good updates some good uh, extras added to find that lead and uh, this is Dean DaCosta